Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. Today, something really exciting. Uh, recently, the guys from Black Rooster Audio um, got in touch with me and have sent me one of the most amazing plugins for tape emulation that I've come across uh, in a long time. And uh, I'm not just saying that because this one really, really does have such an authentic kind of sound. So let's jump in straight away and show you because this one is a doozy. So here it is, we've got such an amazing layout straight away. It's beautiful. It looks like one of the most fantastic tape emulators or tape machines, tape recorders. Um, it's beautifully designed. Um, they've got a few little hidden functions that I'll show you to begin with that is just a sort of um, in case you want workflow difference. You've got this button here, you click magnetize and it will just um, get rid of the actual tape player for you. You've got this button here, if you click this, um, you can choose how these react. I like to have it synced to host transport and, and watch it because it actually gives you that, that kind of look of a tape player playing and recording. And that's the whole idea, that's the fun of it. So what I've done is I've brought in a loop from Quix, uh, one of his sample packs, it's a piano loop. It's a really nice piano loop to sort of demonstrate the kind of qualities that I would really look to a tape emulator to, to bring in. So these kind of things are pianos, synth loops, pads, um, stuff that's going to create somewhat of a, a natural um, recorded sound. It's, it gives it variance. And what I like about that is it's like perfect imperfection. It's coloring the sound. It's not so robotic. It's more humanized. It's like you were listening to the recording, you know, by a grand piano or something that's playing and you've got all the, the difference of the room and the echoes bouncing around and you've got the, the difference in the frequencies that change. Um, and that's what tape uh, is all about. It's and even si sorry, simply recording to tape provides such amazing qualities, which we can have a look at. So let's jump into the, the actual plugin, what it does. First of all, you've got the power button, that's going to bypass the whole thing, super easy and uh, nice to see, compare A, B with, with the settings. They've given us three different types of tape. Um, from what I've gathered, the red setting up here with the red tape is somewhat more of a flat uh, frequency response. If you go the blue tape, uh, it's more of a high frequencies that, that tend to come out or get affected, and then black is more uh, rich low end um, in that case. So I've been tending to stick to red uh, just with what I've been playing around with. So I'm enjoying that one. The next button is the noise. Uh, if you know anything about tape, this is just injecting uh, a noise layer or noise floor or, or whatever you'd like to call it, um, which helps with the frequencies. Like if I won't go into it too much in tape uh, and how that works, but if you want to have a look at it, look into why noise is important, but you can toggle it on and off. Most of the time, you're not going to hear much of a difference, but um, I like to have it on because that's pretty uh, standard with how tape is done. Uh, we'll jump over to the other side, these other buttons first, um, because these other ones are more important. Uh, the, the bias, now this is adding in an extra noise, again, an extra frequency layer. And what, it, what that does is it actually helps prevent a bit of crossover distortion from recording to like tape. So uh, again, in terms of actually using these, if you want to know exactly what it does, go and research it. I'll provide a couple of really nice articles in some links below for you to have a look at. Otherwise, uh, you've got the different decibel levels, which are adding that noise layer in a little bit extra. Um, to help with that crossover. Um, if I've got it on this current setting, I've found that that's a more flat response again and a more default response. So I'm gonna stick with that one for now, but I still play around with it. Uh, the other thing, I'll show you tape speed at the end. That's really cool. This is just uh, how fast the tape is rotating. So the cool part about this, if we listen to the, the loop without the tape,
can see why I like it. Um, <laughs> so beautiful, nice piano, lo-fi setting already. It's kind of got some crackling. You can already hear that, but it's still, it doesn't have too much movement in it. I can tell there's a little bit of kind of tape playing on there already maybe, um, but this one you're going to really see, and we're chucking it right at the start of the chain, which is uh, what I recommend, what they recommend as well, actually, um, just to kind of give it straight in, straight in through tape. Um, so, yeah, let's play it with this on. Turn it on. Looks awesome. Um, you can do these, you know, these rotating things. Like I can watch them all day. Uh, the the meters here, they're showing you the meters in and out. This is essentially your recording level. So this is how it's being recorded. If we want to push this level, it might push the distortion, push um, that crackle and and crunch and saturate it. Obviously, it's a saturation thing. Being tape, it's more saturated, but you can really hear the distortion and saturation that that brings in if we boost that. This other level is the, the output level. So if you boost the input, obviously it's gonna make it louder and add distortion. So what they've cleverly done is if you right click and drag, it actually inverts and compensates for the gain perfectly. So if you're boosting up here, it's gonna bring down the output so you're just hearing what the difference between um, the distortion is, uh, which is a really handy feature. So let's play around with that. So I exaggerated a lot to show you, but you can hear that distortion, that real kind of old school tape sound coming in. If we then wanted to have it that low, we could then just boost back up the output. Super distorted in there, so we might dial it back a fair bit. Awesome. Now, one of my favorite parts about this whole bit is the, the wow or the flutter. And this just sounds so natural, sounds so nice. And it's super um, discreet if you want it to be. But just listen, listen how cool this sounds. Beautiful, right? And it's just such a nice little kind of coloring effect. And um, the, as you saw, I changed the tape speed. So it, it kind of half speeds it. I think the, the 7.5 speed, can't remember what it is, rotations per whatever. Um, that's a much better fit for that kind of slow piano loop. But you might find something a little bit faster, a bit more energy. That flutter can really add to the energy of the track. And give it that extra sparkle that it needs. So guys, uh, Magnetite from Black Rooster Audio. Now, I've got a 10% discount for you from these guys. Uh, they've been kind enough to hand that over to pass on to you. Um, it's currently, I think, even on sale at the moment. So you might be able to grab both 10% off and on sale. So I think it's roughly $50 Australian at the moment, normally like $120, $140 then you might be able to get my discount on top of that, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So links in the description for the plugin, for my code to get 10% off. Uh, everything in terms of tape emulation, I'll link some cool links down there as well. Uh, guys, thanks for Black Rooster Audio. You guys have uh, been really amazing in, in handing this out and letting me try this out and passing it on to you guys. So go and follow them, go and follow me, and let's uh, let's make some good music. Thanks for watching and see you again soon. Bye.